Well, I'm here actually to celebrate the life of Jacques Costered, uh, who uh, I had the uh, pleasure and privilege of commissioning several works. And I started commissioning Jacques back in 1956. And that's when he did the uh, Tale of Edgar Allan Poe. He did the music for Tale of Edgar Allan Poe. And after that, he did a, a piece called Air Vari for me, which was for oboe, oboe de Moore, English horn, and hecophone, a quartet, uh, a, a delightful piece, and several other works. And the last time that I saw Jacques uh, was on the, uh, for the celebration of the Statue of Liberty in New York when he wrote uh, a piece for me uh, with wonderful poetry, French poetry with it, etc. Well, the reason for the beginnings of the Wind Symphony was to, when I was going to Juilliard many years ago, many of my friends would, during the summer, were selling candy and things in Central Park because they had no place to perform. And I began thinking, wouldn't it be wonderful if I could create an orchestra that could use these young people. And that was the beginning of the concept. But the Wind Symphony Orchestra came about, not through me, but through the, uh, a meeting with Haida Villa-Lobos, uh, who said to me, uh, he lived in New York for six months. I would go run to visit with him. Uh, he spoke Portuguese and terrible French. And by that time, I was speaking terrible French as well, so we both spoke terrible French together, but understood each other very well. And uh, he said, I only write for the winds of the orchestra. And that was the beginning of the whole concept of what a wind symphony orchestra is. Uh, people talk about wind orchestra, but in essence they mean bands, because they use euphonium, saxophones, etc. We only use the instruments like for flutes, for oboes, for clarinets, for bassoons, plus the brass, and harp, and piano, etc., and percussion. We, uh, and this year is sort of an unusual year. It's my 58th year this year. Uh, it's an unusual year. Last year I was auditioning musicians in Madrid. So this year uh, I have a, a, a woman coming, performing from, coming from Madrid. Uh, I have one from Bogota, Colombia. I have two from Japan, one from Malaysia, and one from US. So I have six women now in my percussion section. It's the first time I've ever had six women in the percussion section. And on the boat, which we play, the Floating Art Center, they line up in front. All the percussion is in front. So we're going to see six beautiful, wonderful women playing percussion. So it's going to be quite wonderful. You know, it's it's sort of uh, remarkable in a way because many years ago, back in uh, 40, uh, let me see when it was, 53, I uh, had a, a Fulbright fellowship to come to study at the Paris Conservatory. And here now I'm back at the Paris Conservatory. And I had studied with uh, Raymond Sabarich. Uh, I was a trumpet player and spent a wonderful year uh, living here in Paris, so it's sort of coming home again.